everyone. Welcome to Talk to Us today. I'm Namita. And I'm Simrit. And today on Talk to Us today, we have our review therapy session. Review yeah. therapy is the session where we discuss uh, the, and review the most recent books we've read, the series we've watched, and we keep talking about reviewing some other stuff. We did review the book fair I went to last week, but that wasn't part of our review therapy. That was just me loving my books. You know, this is one of my favorite segments, Namita, because I love reading. I'm not kidding. I'm... If it was up to me, I would own a bookshop with a coffee shop attached and drink coffee all day long while reading. That would be my dream job. And then when I would read a book that I'd love, I'd be talking about it and having discussions, calling authors. You know, I once told my dad that let's do this as a business idea. He's like, you're going to read your own books and drink your coffee. No one's coming to you. I'm like, gee, thanks. That's a lot. <laughs> I was a kid. But maybe one day, I don't know. <laughs> That's a fantastic idea. I don't know anybody would come or not, but I would definitely come. <laughs> I would love it. I just recently saw, like, I just need my coffee and three people. This Twinkle Khanna, just, this is a shot that was running. Like, wow, that's that's what we want. That's what we want. I, isn't that what we all want? Your favorite beverage, some good food and people that you love and one favorite hobby. I think we're lucky. Yeah. Yes. So on today's episode of Review Therapy, I am reviewing an awesome new show I have been watching. And Simrit is not reviewing a book, but one of her favorite authors, Philippa Gregory. She seems quite excited about it. So let's give her a chance yeah. to talk about it first. <laughs> No, that I am because we normally like I normally review these books that I've read and you and me have done some and I love it but today I was like you know to be honest I read a book and I didn't like it recently and I'm like nah why put up a review and tell you guys that don't read this I like to tell you guys what to read so in our spirit of staying positive here is something I think you guys show me now one of my favorite genres is historical fiction and my, the author I'm suggesting is Philippa Gregory. Philippa Gregory is a Brit British historical novelist and her speciality is Tudor history. And to be honest, I've loved all her books. I mean, whenever something comes out, I'm the first one to go, let's go get it. The, but I haven't still read all of them. They're about 15 in the Tudor, but I have read about 10 or 12 of them. The funny thing is, our book club used to read a very diverse selection of fiction, but then once we started reading Philippa stuff, we got hooked to historical fiction. That's when our book club became a historical fiction, like speciality more or less. She's written the series, The Cousins War, which is about the house of Plantagenet, Lancaster and York. Her novels, The Red Queen and The White Queen, and um, I'll give you the list later, they're, the, they're about the wars which extinguished the male lines of the two dynasties, leading to the Tudor family taking over. So like all the men, like they killed each other, literally. They Tudor history actually, you know, they've inherited the Lancaster lane, uh, the claim, sorry, to the throne. So the six books in this series are The White Queen, The Red Queen, The Lady of Rivers, The Kingmaker's Daughters, the White Princess and the King's Curse. And I have a couple of them here. And so this is the first wow. one. It's all, the series. all these books are about women? Yes, they are. Well, they're about the wars, but they're really, the women play a really pivotal role in all this. And, you know, they're about Elizabeth Woodville. They're about, I mean, there's so many characters that it'll blow your mind. It's amazing. And to see, you know, a lot of us Indians, we sit back and go, oh, our, whether it's our Mughal history or Shiva, like there's a lot of blood, you know, in our dynasties. And we're like, oh, it was so cruel. It was this, you know, guys, go pick up a British like Tudor history novel. You will see like King Richard killing his two nephews. I mean, it's it's appalling. And yet you realize that anywhere there's a lot of monarch, but, well, not a lot. Uh, I, I don't know everywhere I mean, but there's a lot of bloodshed and 
really um, cruelty that went into the monarchy in the UK. It's amazing. You guys should read this. So one of her, I mean, so those were that series. And then she wrote uh, her, I think it was her first novel, The Other Bolan Queen. No, The Other Bolan Girl, sorry. The Other Bolan Girl, I'm so sorry. And this novel got us hooked. I mean, more than yes. Queen, like it was so good. This is an intriguing and well-written novel about sex and incest or, and then cruelty and execution and marriage and uh, royal politics. I mean, this novel has it all. Nothing today could compare to what happened in King Henry's court back in the day. And this is, this actually, this book led to the making of the movie by the same name, The Other Bull and Queen. Now, The Other Bull and Girl, sorry, I keep saying that wrong. Now this book, I mean, King Henry the Eighth had uh, married uh, Anne Boleyn, who was the mother of Queen Elizabeth the First. Everybody knows about that, and then she was executed. But this book um, starts with her sister Mary, who was married and a, a royal lady in waiting of the present queen, which was Queen Catherine. And King Henry got his eyes on her, and they actually had two, like according to court. Um, gossip and this uh, historians as well. She had two illegitimate children from King Henry, including a son, which was what King Henry did, wanted all through his life and all his marriages, divorces, everything, annulments was all because he wanted an heir. But because this was Mary Boland gave him a son, but it wasn't considered legitimate he could never officially recognize him. And he did give the family lands and titles for it, but he couldn't recognize. Then when he got bored of Mary because she had two children and you know he realized it's not because she was married all this time. Then he got his eyes set on Anne and how he pursued her and how her family really pushed her into like, you know, because he's a king. So let's, I mean, the book, I mean, everybody, I think many people who love history know this story, but you gotta pick up this book. This is an amazing, yeah. so everything- I think I'm going to find a book to read. I would really like to read oh, this one. It's so <laughs> fascinating. And the thing with Philippa Gregory, and that's why I said, see, there's the sister of the Queens. I've got all these novels. They are, I'm just, wow. that's why I thought I need to, you know, review Philippa Gregory versus any, just one of her books. It wouldn't justify what she writes if I just uh, reviewed one book. But basically everything she writes, she. A, she studies her history well. And then her. what we love about historical uh, fiction is that the dialogues should match the history, right? So she yeah. writes the dialogues, which are fictional, because nobody knows what you exactly said. But it, the content is all well-researched. So it- did you, did you mention facts about, some facts about history as well in the book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all set on true history. Okay. Okay, it's all yeah. set on true history. And like her references are at the back and everything if you want to double check, which is what we do. Her language, her descriptions, they really transport you back in time. And you can actually visualize each scene, the court, like when the women go into labor, heavy carpets on the um, windows because they're supposed to be in, you know, in confinement during the labor period. It's Everything she writes, the winter, oh, it's cold, I've got a shawl, the, there's a lady who's setting up the fire. So these are very women-centric books as well, like you said, and they play such a pivotal role. Like even when women didn't have a say, they do play a pivotal role in how much they used to um, speak in the monarch's ears, like what they were saying, how they were playing the politics around. So it's it's interesting. I mean, Pick up Philippa Gregory if you're a histor histor uh, historical fiction fan. And if you want to dabble in it and get hooked to historical fiction, do pick up Philippa Gregory. I mean, five stars for me for this. That's what. Wow. I, I That's just, great. Yeah. I think I'm definitely going to read a couple of her books now. Yeah. Because... Start with the other bowl and bill for sure. That's yeah. Cool. That one. So, yeah. So that was wonderful, uh, Simrit. This was the first time you've actually reviewed a writer which was interesting and it's nice so let's talk about this new series that i started watching i know the name the title itself tells a lot of thing about the show what's it's the title the 
the sex life of college girls. Also, oh, same same genre, right? Yes, <laughs> 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 Yeah, nice. I, that's completely different. That's more exciting. <laughs> yeah, it is exciting. The moment I saw you saw that title on this Amazon Prime, like, wow! I must watch it. I have to check this out. What is it? <laughs> and you know the the interesting part is I don't. I really like to watch these teenage shows. Somehow this interest was there, or it built up with my niece watching it. But then I watched this, like, no, no, I'm not going to recommend this to my niece as well. <laughs> this show, it would be too early for her to know all is this about the class? Class. Is it 18 plus? Yes, it is. Okay. And she's going to, she is 18. She's, she would be going to the college eventually. So, but like, no, not to. <laughs> yes, of course, it will be a big culture shock for Indian women, Indian moms, especially. Like, oh my God, if my daughter is going abroad and is, this is the kind of life she's going to live on. I have to be very careful. <laughs> yeah, so yes, that would be a kind of a lot of, uh, you know, uh, I would say a shock or a confusion moment for the mom, uh, moms. But anyways, it's a very good show. I loved it. And pretty much chick flick, which I, you know, I would not say, even if it is, it is a chick flick, and I'm sure men and boys would also love it because it is so relatable. It is very, very interesting. And uh, so this tells about the story of four girls who've just recently joined the college and they're all roommates. And it's a very prestigious college, some Essex college in New England. And all these girls are infuriating and lovable as they explore the new free life on campus. So, but you know, the very important thing is that this show is co-created, written, and I think executed, uh, I would say the executive producer is Mindy Kaling. So oh. Mindy Kaling, the same girl, yeah, Kelly Kapoor from this from, show, Office. Isn't she? From the Mindy Project, the same girl. She is. Yeah. So, but the first show was uh, or in you know Indian subcontinent woman. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Nice. Yes. So she's funny. She's yes. Funny. She's funny. And she also uh, did this uh, another show, Never Have I Ever. It's about the Indian teenage girl, how she oh, struggles with right, the, right, right, between right. two cultures and this always this confusion and doing this and that. So yeah, the, when I, I watched that show as well. So when I was watching the show and how she was connecting with the Indian girls, I was like, how can she, somebody be so realistic about it? You know, then I really had to go back and check up on who, who has written yeah. it. Then I found out it's by Mindy and what is the She's meaning very that talented. Happened. She's very talented. Yeah, she is very talented. Very and the way, uh, the show has been written and produced and executed amazing. I mean, it's it's a well-made show. It's it's like, I would not say very high budget, but low, but very well-made show. And uh, and the way the dialogues have been written and the way the, the, it has been executed. So it's really nice. So let's come back to the show. So these four girls in the show are very different personalities and they stay together doing crazy stuff. One is Irish, which is Kimberly. She is so cute, Simrit. I mean, they, I mean the, the way the character has, in, has been picked up, really, really fantastic. So she's naive and no, no, not belongs to such rich family. She picked up a job and she's very, very cute. So there is a, there's an Indian girl, which is Bella. Oh. She aspired to be a comedy, comedy writer and where she is trying to get onto this uh, college magazine by any way, she, because being a fresher, she knows she'll not get the chance. And again, there is a lot of, uh, I would say, uh, gender bias, which was there. So she, how she really, you know, faced that. And uh, where also she's lying to her parents that she's studying neuroscience or some science subjects where she actually wanted to be a comedy writer. So a lot of interesting thing. And there is uh, uh, there's a Whitney uh, who is a daughter of a senator. Wow. Uh, so that's yes, the and, class and whatever. Up yes, yeah. yes. So she's an oh. ace footballer, mature. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and um, she's amazing. And she has her own way of dealing life and uh, based on her background with 
mom being so popular and how she has been hiding things okay my mom should not know about it otherwise it will become a big scandal or it will happen that so yeah that's like that then layton is one spoiled brat from new york upper east side girl and she is pretending to be straight where she is not oh, so how so she good. how she's all the this, elements they get everything yes. in this <laughs> yeah where yeah she's how she's living a dual life and confused what to do and so yeah so you know i mean i have no idea about what kind of reality i mean real facts or real things have been done and i mean because i have not gone to college in you know broad maybe you would have i, would I have that. and for me this is historical fiction trust me none of this happened <laughs> really <laughs> so yeah completely no sex life in college know, you know, yeah i'm what? telling the truth no parents here <laughs> Uh, but you know i don't know i i read it read about it and i think 80% of people i mean 80% people said that 80% is is actually the reality it's, this really happens it happens like that and i was like oh my the god i have changed i don't i don't I think, think it's, it's, think my daughter <laughs> i don't think it's I think, there i think it's in india too yeah. it's not changed yeah but that's a topic yeah. let's shelf that for another time <laughs> so big uh, i would say is do not watch with kids around you okay so, number one so this show has an optimistic vibe most of the episodes are about all about girls adventure with sex going up to nude uh, teen parties some dark sensitive topics are also being touched upon okay. now that bad things keep happening to them and how these girls deal with them love them away and move on so very optimistic not really hooked on to some you know uh, lingering around with something for a long time so they they it's been like how you have to move on to the next to the few you know the future the next day one thing is done today is over so and uh, and uh, not taking much to your heart especially so keep trying keep trying and keep trying and never give up if, uh, especially something which you are passionate about so this is very much focused this is the mindset of these girls are which is very good uh, it is definitely a no brainer again total escapism watch it and forget it so <laughs> no so ne- no depth in the story as such like or the, i mean the characters are good but i think maybe it's very uh, it's it's also going very fast like you know it's just a 30 minute show one right but it's entertaining yeah, it is entertaining it's a 30 minutes one episode so yes where you remember you know uh, remember a show and for a very long time it's not like that okay it's so, not going to stick with you <laughs> hey no 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 it won't so <laughs> overall good show good cast great script fun dialogues solid episodes and fabulous music okay so four stars from my side anybody who wants to just want a lighter you know fun yeah. evening or i would say weekend just watch it it's it's good yeah i yeah. love your recommendation because i remember i don't watch too much television by myself i mean i have something on in the background when i but i don't pay attention but i was i think i was working out on the cycle i'm like oh let me just look at something and then bold type came on and honestly it was escape it was wonderful i loved the bold type and yeah it doesn't stay with you but it's fun and i i think um four stars from namita for sex life of college girls is a must watch at least when you're exercising and working yeah, it's a fun thing to just get that yeah. 30 minute um like yeah uh, on your yeah. cycle or your ecleptic trainers or whatever you guys want to do anyways yeah. for me i love what she recommends and it's on Amazon Prime and as far as historical novelists go five stars for Philippa Gregory and i yeah. am really conservative with my star rating so this is a really good five movie. is a big number for you i i, I see yes, that yes. yeah and like proof of the putting all these books i have which are like falling off uh, but tell us what you guys um if you guys have any other historical novelists that you'd like me to look at or t- give us your recommendation so i have good books to read anyways that's all on talk to us today we look forward to hearing from you guys please let us know what you thought of the, today's review therapy segment and uh by either sending us an email at hello at talktoustoday.com or use the comment section below and let your friends know where to find us right
and please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay notified of our videos every Friday at 6 p.m. Thanks for joining us on Talk to us today. Remember, talk, talk about talk to us today. today. <laughs> yeah, keep smiling, keep laughing, uh -huh. and the most important one, keep talking. And I'm talking. adding another one. Keep reading, guys. Read, really important. Yeah. <laughs> Keep talking and okay. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. See you guys next Friday. Bye.